That must be flubber worm mucus. Late again, you lazy boy. A further three points from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. The other students are off to the Halloween feast. Join them, if you must. She needs our help. We must try to rescue her straight away. Oh. <laughs> 
Power spell to keep that junk from the Pendo! Wingardium Leviosa! Flipendo! 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 Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron, and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw! Let's play Quidditch! Was that the snitch? A near miss of water! Here comes the Ravenclaw Seeker! Here comes the Gryffindor Seeker! The crowd is on its feet! Come on, Harry Potter! This is amazing! Look at Potter's gun! Stay on target! Oh, that was close! Potter's moving in! Come on, Potter! Don't give up now! Roger! Dodgers are speeding, Roger! Comes Potter! Come on, Gryffindor! Oh, uh, sorry, Professor. Gryffindor has the bubble! Oh, he'll feel that tomorrow! Here comes the Bludger! Mr. Potter! I've never seen such flying! Potter is so close! Look at those seekers go! He turns, he misses! Harry Potter closes in on the snitch! This is amazing! Wonderful! A perfect catch! Potter!
to bring it home for Gryffindor. <laughs> Gryffindor wins again. My name's Lee Jordan, signing off. Thanks to Harry's skill as a seeker, Gryffindor won the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something fluid and silvery slithered out. It's an invisibility cloak, said Ron. They're very rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Harry read. Use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak, while Ron and Hermione helped to prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry, said Hermione. You can't stay invisible while you cast spells. Filch might see you. 